Kennedy tweeted, I talked to hundreds of women at Fox this week, both on air and off. They say it all BS. Brit Hume, too. Brit? Why didn't Gretchen quit and sue instead of suing only after she got fired? Why didn't she complain? Why didn't she complain? Really? He means the anonymous hotline. The There's hotline? a hotline? Yeah. I did the harassment seminar twice. I never heard about a hotline. Because it's bullshit. They have a contractual right to monitor our communications. A hotline in this building is like a complaint box in occupied Paris. It's like we're telling women, go on, speak up for yourself. Just know the entire network is with Roger. No one will believe you. They'll call you a liar. Oh, and as for your career, you want assignments and airtime? Go ahead, call the paranoid man who decides your salary a pervert and do that on a fucking anonymous hotline he controls. On a phone, he has a contractual right to record. Jesus fucking Christ, do you think women are idiots? It's like somebody stripped you naked and they want you to walk through this office just to fucking prove it. Okay. Can I see you for a minute? What the fuck was that? I don't know, but I liked it. No one really wins by suing Fox News. It's been our experience that once you go public in your job, no one will hire you. If you're able to stick it out at Fox, gather more evidence. You might be able to sue Ailes himself instead of Fox. And that is why I'm here, because Marty Hyman told me that over here in New Jersey, I can avoid arbitration by suing Roger personally. He says that you've managed to change the law and that we could call other women and show a pattern. Will other women come forward? Yes, they will. You live and work in New York. Roger has a house in Burden County where he stays when he can't make it upstate. You do your homework, Miss Carlson. No fingerprints. That's how much I practiced the violin as a child. If Roger finds out you came to us, he won't just fire you. Mm. He will bang us with a million dollar lawsuit. He will attack you personally. Mm. These men, they care more about their reputations than they do money. Roger won't stop. Oh, I know. You know that. Mm -hmm. Colleagues you admire will say publicly you're a superior, ambitious woman who's suing because her career stalled. Let him. Oh my gosh. I can't get fired. This is the only job I have ever wanted. I don't want to be on TV. I want to be on Fox. Uh-huh. My family, every day, every holiday, like, especially holidays, we watch Fox News. We're like addicts. Fox is how we do church. You know when they made the corner logo turn? Because folks had Fox burned into their TV screens? That's us. Caleb, okay, you're not getting fired. He cannot scale his anger. He's a perpetual outrage machine. That's why crazies love him. No offense to your family. You want to do the folders? No crying at Fox. No crying. I have never run a goddamn Dairy Queen. You don't get to go and get whatever you want. Everybody on my shows knows the meaning of decency. And I do mean everybody. A TV outfit needs tough, confident women. Do I push them? You bet your ass I do. But have I ever demanded sex during a casting session? I defy you to find any evidence that a single part of what these women are saying is true. Get ready. More will come. We need to let Rupert know what it means if I lose Gretchen Carlson could kill Fox News. This is a fight for your jobs. If I go, you go. Let me explain your mistake here. So Rush is on Hannity's team? They're the competition. They're GOP party hacks. So he thinks he's way ahead of them. So steal from Drudge and Breitbart, not talk radio. OK. Also, stop worrying if a story's legit. If you can't source it, just go with Summer saying. Seriously? You have to adopt the mentality of an Irish street cop. The world is a bad place. People are lazy morons. Minorities are criminals. Sex is sick but interesting. Ask yourself what would scare my grandmother or piss off my grandfather. And that's a Fox story. Are you writing this down? Oh, it makes so much sense. Frighten, titillate. Right. Frighten, titillate. Frighten, titillate. You have to adopt the mentality of an Irish street cop. The world is a bad place. People are lazy morons. Minorities are criminals. Sex is sick but interesting.
Ask yourself what would scare my grandmother or piss off my grandfather. And that's a Fox story. Oh, it makes so much sense. Women are everywhere. We're letting them play golf and tennis now. HR's on the phone because you called me a skirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to read that manual again. <laughs> the attitude off camera was even worse. You're a man hater. Learn to get along with the boys. You're sexy, but you're too much work. I have a whole list. Will other women come forward? You may have heard there was a dust-up involving yours truly and presidential contender Donald Trump. There was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. Oh my God, but... did he just accuse me of anger menstruating? Wait, am I going to be the story? No. No. I'm going to be the story. No. no. Nobody stops watching because of a conflict. They stop watching when there isn't one. I want to convince you that I belong on air, Mr. Ailes. I think I'd be freaking phenomenal on your network. I could pluck you out and move you to the front of the line. But I need to know that you're loyal. I need you to find a way to prove it. I'm the bad guy. You know why Ron just got that door blocking his office. Someone has to speak up. Someone has to get mad. Fox News star Gretchen Carlson dropped a major bombshell today. What is she doing? This could kill Fox News. We need everyone on Team Roger. Get it on. Put it on. These are the end times. You do understand I have to be above this, right? You know the entire country is. Safety and truth. There's a man! Ready to go to war? Oh, yeah.